Welcome to Grizz Vision on Grizz TV. I'm here with head men's soccer coach Eric Pogue and freshman Al Higgins, who scored his first career goal in, goal in the Golden Grizzlies uniform. So now we'll start with you. Uh, take us through uh, your goal and what happened there. Um, well, the ball was whipped into the box, and Kiko um, had flicked the ball into the box, and he tried to get a goal, so I tried to step out of the way and let the ball go through. But it ended up deflecting off of me, so then I took a touch, turned around, and I shot it. Awesome, now, and what does it uh, mean to you guys being, had a nice 2-0 lead, let that get away, they tied it to 2-2 in overtime, so what does it feel about how the team uh, faced a little bit of adversity there and went ahead and got the win? Well, I was kind of disappointed at the fact that we let them come back, but we fought through it, and we battled, and we ended up coming out with the win. All right, now, thanks for your time, appreciate it. And coach, over to you. Uh, like I alluded to, uh, you got a 2 0 lead and I uh, let them tie it up. But at the end of the day, got the win with a laser shot from Soraka to get the first Horizon League uh, victory, of the, which got to feel good. So, your thoughts? Uh, yeah, I mean, obviously, you know, got up 2 0 and, you know, had some opportunities to put uh, the game away. Um, but that's kind of a, a crucial moment right there. You either get the third goal and maybe uh, the game gets away a little bit easier game. Um, we knew that next goal was going to be important one way or the other. And, you know, credit to them. They, uh, they kept battling and fight, fighting NKU and uh, you know, were able to get that goal. And, uh, you know, after that, we knew we were in for a dogfight. And, uh, you know, disappointed, obviously. But, you know, I don't want to talk about always being a young team, but that's what we are. And, um, you know, at the end of the day, this is, you know, this will be good for us over the long haul, the ability to battle back, uh, being up 2-0, then, you know, 2-2, two, 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 and then be able to come back and, and get that one in overtime. You know, I was just proud of the guy's effort in overtime. Um, you know, it's easy to come off, and obviously they're feeling good about themselves having tied it up. We're feeling pissed off at ourselves for not being able to uh, to finish the game out. Um, so it really takes a, a strong-minded team to to fight through that adversity and, and find a way to get a result. And uh, you've been disappointed with the tie. Um, so to come away with the with the result and the three points, uh, you know, is good for us. And we just got to rest, recover, and, and get ready for, for a tough challenge against our in-state rival, uh, Michigan State. Okay, Coach, and thanks for your time. And once again, Golden Grizzlies fans, uh, we're back here on the pitch on Wednesday when the Michigan State Spartans come to uh, come to town. And kickoff is at 7 p.m. Thanks, Coach. Okay, thanks.